Okay, so I'm going to show in this video how to uh, use Kyle Microvision 5 to uh, create an assembly program for ARM7 and run it. But before we do that, we do need to install one more package, which is MDK 529, which is in your canvas that we are going to download and install. So finally, uh, let's uh, see if its uh, installation is complete. Okay, so once it's installed, then we are going to Okay, looks like this is installed. Okay. Next. And then once it's setup is complete, <clears throat> uh, cannot create destination access tonight. I try, yes, and is already installed. Uh, place on finish okay Okay, and then now we start. Okay, zero error. So uh, let's show. Okay, so let's show you how to basically run this. So let's close project and I will start the project again. So new microvision project. Uh, my demo project, okay, so save, then I am going to have a legacy, uh, LPC2148, and then okay, then no, you don't need to copy start a project, then no, now you need a new file, so uh, I will write, I will create um, a new file, you start with a tab, so it has to be intended, in it has to be indented properly. So area, that's your keyword. And then my first program, comma code, comma read only. You can also write, read, write, doesn't matter here. Move R0, comma, 
number 12 okay and then at the end you write end and then you save it mov uh, prog dot s okay and then in the source you select add existing files and prog this is what we did okay now what you are going to do in the target select options for the target one and then select linker and then uncheck this use memory layout and the scatter file you also delete that and you will see that linker control string has changed press ok now we are going to build this program so you click this and press rebuild so you see zero errors and zero warning so now everything looks fine and then after that uh, you will press debug so this is the debug icon you can also find from the debug menu and press ctrl plus f or just with use mouse arrow to select this and then it will come into the debug mode now you will see that there are 15 registers here and the status flags as well like uh, negative zero uh, carry and overflow and you see this the according uh, uh, the in the disassembly you will see a machine code corresponding to move r0 and 12 which is e3 c so that is what we have now and so now you can see that you were able to successfully run and debug your program so with that i would like to thank you for watching this video and now i will stop recording